How's it going guys and welcome back to the Discovery. Today we're doing an unboxing and we're going to be putting up on my kitchen wall here this wooden travel map with an LED backlight that I've got from enjoythewood.com. Um, looks really cool and it's a great wall art decoration. So let's get to the unboxing and have a look what we get inside. Okay, now the box itself comes all the way from Ukraine, so this came uh, shrink wrapped with plastic wraps around it to make sure it doesn't get damaged in transit and it's come very well uh, kept and you get some really nice cool artwork on the uh, lid there which kind of uh, tells you a bit about, you know, um, you know where it's from and how's it, what, what's it kind of in the box and what to expect. So, let's just open the top here and now straight away you are greeted with a foam padding and then inside here you have the accessories box so I'm just gonna pull this out for now and we'll put it there and then obviously you got your styrofoam there to keep it in place <clears throat> and here you have obviously the parts of the map itself now <clears throat> I'll look at the uh, accessories box first so this is your accessories box now inside here um, you got now th bear in mind that this is the LED acrylic version of the map the um, which uh, has a backlight on it so if you're specking the map out bear in mind if that's what you're looking for this is what to expect so you've got the uh, remote there for the RGB LEDs behind the map you've also got some uh, roll plugs with the screws you've also got some additional screws to attach certain parts of the map together here you have your mounting uh, hardware to uh, mount it through the raw plugs and give you a nice neat finish there when it's um, so you don't see any nasty screw holes you've also got an inspired by you what is this uh, so this is the pamphlet which tells you um, how to uh, uh, put the thing together so you got your warranty card in there you've got your instruction uh, manuals in there as well um, bear in mind that this does come with a lifetime warranty as long as you keep the warranty card which is actually signed by them. It also gives you a little hello from Enjoy the Wood, a um, little postcard here which gives you a little backstory on uh, the business because it's a family run business and uh, in, from Ukraine so pretty cool stuff. You've got some nice stickers as well there you can have fun with your kids and then <coughs> you've also got the uh, make your kids busy you know use crayon so it's all about you know family fun that's the kind of way they kind of positioned it um, and then you've got the installation instructions so this is for the LED version obviously tells you how to uh, install the map and what to look out for which is really nice very well illustrated uh, instructions that you get there um, and then you have the stencils which uh, allow you to uh, line the map up so they're numbered as well so you've got one and two, these are the corners of the map there and they tell you how to, uh, where to line it up so you get it straight and it's in proportion. Um, you also got your small loose bits of the map itself like your north, east, south, west uh, uh, wooden cutouts. Um, there's a little box here which we'll have a look at in a second. And you have all the little accessories bundle here so this is like a wooden cutout of the uh, enjoy the wood um, uh, little boat there you've got the aeroplanes you just got to push them out of the frame carefully and then you can mount them as well around your wall and then obviously you've got the cutouts of all the little uh, Atlantic Ocean Indian Ocean all these like cool little extra bits really nice stuff to see very well finished packaging quality is really good and then obviously here you've got your uh, uh, this is your compass that you can attach on the wall with the north, south, east, west. So all these little extra bits will make it look really sharp on the wall. And then the last thing we've got here, um, which at the moment they're running a promo now. So if you uh, order this uh, map, um, and uh, at the time being anyway, they're giving away this, which is a free um, pin set, which has got all the flags of every single country um, on the map and you get to pin them all in and they're very nice quality lovely looking pins here with that enamel coating over the top of the flag the flags look really good quality as well the print on them very high resolution and they're going to look really really sharp on the actual map and it's a good exercise to have with your children if you're putting it together with them and it comes in the nice little box pad there as well so i'm just going to put this stuff to the side and we can have a look at the pieces of the map okay so now depending on which map you get will depend, uh, will di kind of dictate 
how, uh, what assortment your pieces will come in because I've got the LED acrylic map. It actually comes with um, uh, all, most of the pieces that are attached to the acrylic. Um, so this obviously here, we've got North America and Canada in this one whole piece there, which looks really, really nice. And um, straight away you get a sense of quality, all the, um, uh, the laser etching in the uh, uh, countries there are very, very well cut out and well presented. Um, and it feels very nice, very solid as well. Um, obviously you have to be a bit careful with it. On the back here, being the LED version, you can see all the LED um, you know, uh, strips here, which are all been wired in, pre-wired in, and um, neatly kind of glued into place very well uh, thought out and it's also labeled here with different numbers so you can kind of get an idea of where to kind of uh, what corresponds to what according to the uh, instructions. You also have Greenland in this particular um, set here um, so let's have a look at the uh, second layer and see what we have. Okay so your second layer looks like, oh it looks like it's upside down but second layer look like we're getting Russia um, and parts of, well this looks like Eurasia actually um, so it's uh, Europe, uh, Russia and um, you know going far east and towards the Asian continent so we get that there um, in, uh, in Russia so let's pull this bit out and see what's next okay and then in this layer we've got the majority of Asia here, I've um, got the India, China, Iran and I love how it's all like 3D with all loads of different depths and it really does make a difference to the quality of this particular uh, map, you know, with all the different layers and different types of woods, different colours and it's going to look really, really sharp on the wall. Here you've got Australia here with um, uh, all the different states there in Australia and when you actually order the um, map it gives you an option where to have your plug come out of um, I personally have chose to choose uh, it to come out on the right hand side so on the back here you can see that's where the uh, the power for everything ends and it comes out here and then here is where I'm going to uh, connect it to my plug so that's just the um, uh, a European plug so it gives you an option for European or US but I live in the UK so there's no UK option so I'm going to have to use an adapter for that so that's something to bear in mind. Um, let's see if we've got anything else underneath. Okay and it looks like the last uh, pieces that we have here we've got um, Brazil um, and we've also got the continent of Africa as well and the rest of the European continent which is obviously uh, you got your France, Germany, England, Poland, Ukraine, obviously that's where they're all from. Moldova's in there as well, <laughs> you know, a little small thing. So we've got loads of, loads of different uh, countries and obviously all of uh, Africa. I think it really does uh, stand out when you've got really large continents like this with all the different levels and stuff like that. It looks very, 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 very sharp. And it looks amazing actually. And the quality is brilliant because there's a lot of these um, uh, brands uh, on Amazon and stuff that you can get um, and they're all different prices and Enjoy the Wood is one of the more expensive ones but um, you can tell straight away from the quality that you're getting here and the depth and all the colours of the wood, the uh, finish that you are paying for a much more premium product. Okay now as you can see here I've got this really big space here to uh, a blank wall in um, between these two flowers that, um, that that's where I'm going to be installing my world map um, and that's where it's going to be going. Um, I've gone for the, I think it's the large version, so it's 150 centimeters wide by 90 centimeters tall. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a time lapse of the build process.
Okay guys, so here is the map finally up on the wall in all of its glory with the LEDs all on. Now, first thing I'd want to say is during the installation process, the instructions are quite straightforward, quite easy to follow to be honest, but there are some things that I think would have made it a lot easier. For one, um, putting the actual map uh, in the positions, because they're all in, uh, most of them are individual pieces, making sure they're level is quite difficult. I mean, you get the two stencils, but the individual pieces are harder to kind of figure out if it's level or not. So the way we kind of did it is where the uh, the text is there, because we know that that's straight, get the spirit level, kind of figure out where that's straight and then kind of put in the, the holes where they need to go while we're kind of holding it there. But again, you're kind of like eyeballing it a bit because you're holding it with your hands. I think a bit of feedback for Enjoy the Wood would be to instead of giving you two cardboard cutouts of the stencils, instead of give you an entire piece of paper that spans the whole expanse of the map, the whole size it is, and then you can actually uh, get that level and then stick it up with a bit of masking tape, then mark where your holes need to go. And then obviously there you go and you know each piece would be straight and where it kind of needs to be. That's the only bit of feedback I'd say that way because eyeballing it can be a bit difficult. But other than that, it was quite simple. One issue that we did have, which was probably down to the quality control on their end was a bit of a mistake is once we actually had everything wired up, um, it does say in the manual that the, um, the polarity of the wires don't actually matter when you're wiring it up. But what will happen was, is when we actually plugged it in, it wasn't lighting up and, and because the polarity wasn't an issue, we were kind of a bit stumped, like why isn't it working? We did get in touch with Enjoy The Wood with their customer service live chat, but unfortunately they didn't really give any help other than keep following the instructions, keep following the instructions, which is what we were doing, but it still wasn't working. So they were gonna say they were gonna contact us back with a specialist, but actually what it ended up being was um, the plug that they gave us the, that plugs into the electrical socket was wired incorrectly on their end. So when we actually took the plug apart, the wires had come out. So we actually had to wire it back up in the plug, then put the plug back together and it fired up straight away. So if you are having an issue where the, the LEDs aren't working, I definitely recommend checking that plug out to make sure it's not kind of the, the wires haven't come loose um, while uh, you know in transit for anything like that. But once we got that plugged in, it was really straightforward. Everything else worked straight away. The remote worked straight away and it kind of filed up and it was a bit of a sigh of relief for us. But as you can see, once it's all up, it looks absolutely brilliant. Very unique piece. The LEDs are very, very bright as well. And the good thing is you can actually turn the LED brightness down. So as I kind of move the uh, brightness level down, you can see um, now it's going, that's all the way down to low because they do get quite bright. It's a bit more of a subtle glow. The higher you put it, and that is its highest brightness and it really pops out. Um, we kind of like it, um, you know, if we're in the evening having it a bit uh, lower on the brightness because then you can see the map text a bit more and your eyes aren't kind of blasted by the color of the light. Um, the one thing that they don't include in there is a manual for the LED remote, which is quite annoying because this thing's got loads of different modes and it's quite hard to get your head around what mode does what or what have you. Um, they don't include a LED remote uh, manual in there. So what we actually did is we went online, typed in the model of the remote, the 2.4 gigahertz RF wireless remote. We managed to find a PDF of one that was pretty similar and it does the same thing. And then we managed to figure out what the modes actually did. So that would be one thing to consider as well. Um, if you can't figure out what's going on the remote, have a look at that online. Um, you can have it in fading in and out like this. This is the slowest setting you can speed up how fast it goes as well, like that. So now it's like going through the colors a lot quicker and then you can slow it down as well. Um, and then it'll be going through the colors a lot slower. You can obviously always set it to a static color. So here I've got a static blue. You can pick anything on the remote LED color wheel and then it can stay on that static color. And if you press and hold the uh, uh, mode button, um, it should switch it to a uh, full white. There we go. Okay, so now that's what it looks like at static white. And the static white does kind of a, like a best all round scenario. You know, it kind of looks really, really good with the white and it kind of puts more emphasis on the actual map detail itself. But the quality of the map was really, really good. One thing, another thing is when you're installing it, your drill marks for the mounting holes has to be like pretty much spot on because there's no flexibility within the acrylic. Otherwise you damage cracking it or breaking it. So try and get that as bang on as you can. Otherwise it's gonna be really difficult to mount and you might have to find that you have to re-drill in different places and filling in holes and all that kind of stuff. 
What we did to hide the actual wire that goes into the plug is behind Australia, that's where our wire is, and we've actually drilled a hole at the back of Australia, and the wire's going down behind our wall, which is a lot easier for us because we're using plasterboard, but if you've got a brick wall, it's a bit more difficult. But you have to go down there, and then we plugged it in behind uh, where this uh, dining table is. So that's something that we did, so now it looks like a seamless flow in piece of art but overall it's really good really I've uh, had fun doing it and uh, putting it up together with my missus and the nice little uh, you know extra pieces that are in the background of the map uh, like the plane the uh, the boat and the and the words of the oceans are really really cool as well it's a nice touch and it is a really good quality piece so I definitely recommend it I hope you like the video if you've got any questions please drop us some comments and give us a like and subscribe if you found the video useful and I'll catch you on the next one